We've given out our Robot Skills Champions. We've given out our Teamwork Champions. We've even given out our Excellence Award winners. Paul, I think there's just one more thing left that we need to do here in the That's right. The jacket's coming off. I don't even need to ask if you're all ready because I know that this is the moment you've all been waiting for. So count it down with me. Three, two, one. working together to maximize their score. Both teams will receive the same points. Each of these teams consists of two drivers and one robot. One driver will operate the robot for the first half of the match, and the other driver will operate it for the second half. Second, each team will have the opportunity to play driving skills challenge matches. In these matches, teams have 60 seconds of driver-controlled time to score as many points as possible. Third, each team will have the opportunity to play programming skills challenge matches, in which they have 60 seconds of autonomous robot operation to score points. No drivers allowed. Vex IQ Challenge Squared Away is played on a 4 foot by 8 foot field. Robots and game objects start on the field in predetermined positions. There are scoring zones in the four corners of the field and three platforms along the sides of the field. Be sure to double check the robot and starting position rules this year, as they may not be the same as previous Vex IQ Challenge games. The scoring objects in Vex IQ Challenge squared away are 3 inch diameter balls and 7 inch cubes. There are a total of 35 balls and 7 cubes on the field. The object of the game is to score as many points as possible with your alliance partner in one of two ways. By scoring balls in or on cubes, and by moving cubes to their associated scoring zones. A ball scored inside a cube is worth one point each. A ball scored on top of a cube is worth two points each. Teams will have to experiment with balls and cubes to figure out the best way to score points here. A red or blue cube scored in the same color scoring zone is worth 10 points. And a green cube scored on a platform is worth 20 points. Cubes and balls are scored independently of each other. So, if a robot places three balls on top of a cube, that alliance has just earned six points. Then, if they score that cube in a scoring zone, they have just earned 10 more points. That's a total of 16 points. 
For official robot requirements and game rules for Vex IQ Challenge Squared Away, please see the Vex IQ Challenge game manual found at roboticseducation.org and vexiq.com. To register a team, find events near you, or ask a question on the official Q&A, please visit robotevents.com. Good luck, and have a great season. I'm joined up here one more time by President and CEO of the RC Foundation, Dan Vance. Dan, 